Hey guys, desk is kind of a mess here, but I have another firewall project I got to uh, do here. This is going to be a Sophos uh, SG firewall. It's their newer firewall from, um, obviously, Sophos, Germany. Um, okay, the server is a Dell R210 server. And I actually really like this for firewalls because it's actually a really, it's not a full length server. It's a very, very tiny server, and I'll take it apart and show you, but the cool thing about this server is it's the size of like a like a network switch. Let me show you that real quick. So, this is a uh, Cisco 48 port um, PoE switch, and so you can see it's about the same depth, so the cool thing about that is that this can fit in like a, like a two-post uh, telco rack, you know, two post and me, not the full size server rack, and it can also fit into like a like a wall mount rack. So it can fit in the same rack that you're going to put your switch in, which is pretty cool. So you don't need to have a dedicated, really large rack for that. So let me take it apart real quick, and I'll show you what's inside of it. This one doesn't actually have a lot of RAM. It's um, this actually has four gig of RAM. I have a solid state drive in there, and. Um, Four DIMM slots for for memory DDR3, so it's it's very similar the same chipset but it has a uh, a Broadcom chipset and so it has a spot for if you wanted to actually have a drag card in there you could have a remote access controller card in there. Um, I hope you can still see that. So you could actually have the remote access drag card. Um, I don't know if this supports hardware RAID not, or not on board. I don't think it does, which I think that's for a direct card. Yeah, this is for a remote access card. Um, I mean, obviously not really redundant because it doesn't have a spot for redundant power supplies. You might be able to put them in there, possibly, but this is a really cheap entry-level server. Um, okay, so, um, yeah, one of the nice things about this server is it actually has, you can expand, but right now, well, for a firewall at least, you have two NICs, you know, internet, LAN, and if you wanted to, you could expand uh, to, let's say, a two or four port extra card or a single port and get some extra networks if you wanted to, but, uh, cool, so I'm, uh, where's my little, you have a little USB driver in there somewhere, which actually has a Sophos XG, or not, not XG, but SG. Um, so yeah, I do actually have a customer that actually has a Zeus botnet on their network, and they currently have a Cisco ASA 5510, but it's not, if you don't actually have like the, the botnet license or like the extra security module, the, the built-in device that fits into the, into the ASA, it's sort of difficult to figure out where these things are coming from, so, but I mean, I've actually messed with a lot of different firewalls, and uh, I really like this uh, the Sophos product, you know, with the UTM or the SG. So, at least for for looking at viruses and troubleshooting things in in real time, and that's kind of what I need because botnets are kind of hard to they're hard hard to figure out like what's up, you know, like where they're coming from. So my goal for putting this in is to be able to track down an internal host, which is acting as a botnet and sending requests out to the internet. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess you can theory you could do with the Cisco. ASA 5510, but it's just way more difficult. So, um, yeah, I'm mean, actually it's free. So right now the uh, the SG is actually free for as long as the server has under six gig of RAM and a quad core, it, it's free. So unlimited host. So, but this is actually a small office. It's, it's a call center of about um, 35 to 50 people. So um, I'm hoping this isn't. I mean, this will be enough. I mean, the ASA 5510 is more than enough. So. When this will be so, um, but yeah, once I get this botnet detected, I can figure out if I'm gonna keep it or not. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna get started start with this thing and uh, get going. Hey guys, quick tip so when you're burning this thing with Rufus, or I know I use Rufus, 
Uh, it gives you the option to either burn ISO mode. Um, make sure you burn it in DD mode. So I'm going to hit the... Uh, and here we go. Hope you can see that. I know this thing's kind of in the way of my light here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let me move this to the side so you can see it a little better. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to choose hard drive, front USB data traveler. That's my USB drive. And let's see what happens. It's doing something. I've actually had issues with okay, starting firmware installation. Okay, there we go. That is, yes, 55, yep. So the installation is a little bit different for this one than it is for the uh, UTM. UTM actually kind of follows like your typical Linux boot installation. So, yes, yes. All right, I'll be back. So it's doing its thing right now. Hard drive activity, so. All right guys, looks like everything went good on the install there. All okays. Yes. Remove the USB drive. Yes. And once it comes back up, I'll let you know what's up. Alright, this thing is installed now. Uh, the default password is admin. And then from here, I can do the uh, network configuration, interface configuration. Um, boom, port, physical LAN. Alright. Show me the two ports. WAN 2, would you like to? Yes, I would. We'll make it 192.168.1.1. Netmask, if I that's fine. Cool. Slash 24, if you're wondering. Um, All right, so I was trying to do a via DHCP, and nope, I don't want to do that right now because no, I don't want to do IP version six. All right, do DNS. Um, yes, I would version four. I will make it uh, Google 8.8.8. .8 .8. Oh, <laughs> uh, option was yes, one static. I'm gonna do. 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Yep 8.8. .8 .8. Um third no no version six zero exit and let's see what system configuration does. Okay, so I can set my password. Default email. Alright, I will do that off camera because I'm, in case you see this, this actually is a customer's firewall, so I'm not going to show you the public IP address or passwords and that kind of stuff. So, alright, next step will be to log into the web GUI. Alright, got this thing done. So I actually typed in the HTTPS, the internal IP address, port 4444. <laughs> Sorry, the default should be admin admin. And I'm assuming to activate this license, we're going to need an internet connection. But it's up. What the hell is going on here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot I changed my password. Okay, I have received a serial number. Da, da, da. All right, so I'm not going to show you that. We obviously I don't want to show you the serial number. It's a customer's firewall. So, um, all right, I'll get the thing and I'll hit the next screen. So, but at this point, you need to have an internet connection because it's going to activate the license. It's going to make a request to the internet, activate it, and then we'll move forward. So, all right, guys. So when you I'm gonna put my thumb drive over the, over the key, but so normally when you get the uh, a thing in the mail, or they'll email you a, a piece of paper with the key on, and the keys are under that, so they'll tell you how to install it. All right, so I'm gonna put that in there and go to the next screen. 
All right, guys, that's the first screen. So I need to do the original configuration. I got to enable uh, DHCP on this thing. So the internal clients have addresses. I'm not going to be doing VPN. Uh, I'll do some port forwarding, some firewall rules. And the main thing is I need to look for the... Uh, so once I get this installed tomorrow, I need to uh, come back in and log, take a look at the logs overnight and try to see what the hell's going on in this network, man, because it's uh, the the customer, not the, the internet, you know, which is Cox out there, they're complaining that we're sending a, a Zeus virus or running a botnet attack. So uh, I, I, it's hard to see it on the ASA. So I'm hoping this will give me better insight in what's happening on the network. So awesome, guys. So yeah, when I come back, I will be doing the, uh, it'll be installed the next video and I will be looking for botnet so cool